Ladies and gentlemen, this is not clickbait. I can actually say we have the gameplay of Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. It is official. It came out in a very, very strange way. There are very short clips, but we get to see weapons, some other things, a new map, and a bunch of stuff in regards to Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. And it's the first time we get to see a weapon shoot, recoil, anything like that. So without further ado, I'm going to stop talking, show you what I'm talking about because it's a little bit weird. And then I'm going to break it down for you and explain what we have to look at here and what it tells us about the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. So here's what I'm talking about. How we designed a new map for Modern Warfare 2. My name is Jeffrey Smith. I'm a director of multiplayer design. Farm 18 came out of the idea of, we kind of like the shoot house facility map, so we decided to think of hidden training facilities. But it's also in a industrial cement factory. And the idea was, what if we put a shoot house type situation in the middle? If you really want to play that crazy game, you can go to the center and that action will find you. If you want to pull back and play a different way, it's still available to you. I'm Ashley Thundercliffe and I'm a senior environment artist. So when the design has approved the layout of the map and we're happy with it, and we come in and we transform those blockouts into full-fledged environments for the players to immerse themselves in. The other problem was balancing the foliage. If we go too dense with the foliage, we have people hide in the corners. If we don't go dense enough, we don't sell the narrative of the overgrowth. So it's all a perfect balance between all departments trying to find the perfect harmony to make sure that we've got a beautiful, realistic looking space, whilst also being fun for the players to enjoy. Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta. So as far as where this is coming from, this is from Infinity Ward themselves. Apparently they're gonna re be releasing these kind of intel drops that give us information on various parts of the game. The main one for this one is to talk about the new map itself, which we will discuss in a minute. But on top of that, we also got various little short gameplay clips of recoil, throwing a grenade, things along those lines. On top of that, there's the third part of this trailer, which is the developers themselves talking about how they built the game, why they built and why they made certain decisions within the game. Before we talk about any of that, I first have to mention one thing. I'm Ashley Thundercliffe. That has got to be one of the coolest last names ever. But aside from that, in the developers talking about their game, they discuss how they designed certain things, bushes, things like that. And it seems like they are really, really talking towards this not being a campy game style whatsoever. Talking about not having too much foliage so that characters can't hide within the bushes, things along those lines. But when we get a further look at this, it is actually when we have a deeper look at some individual images of the map themselves. Don't worry, we'll dive in and break down the small amount of gameplay that we had. But first, I wanted to discuss what we have out of this map. So when having a look at the map itself, the first thing that I have to say is looking at the map, it appears to be a two-story map. No higher, no bigger buildings, nothing along those lines, which tends to that idea of less camping spots and in this case, less verticality. Now, this gives off major Modern Warfare 2019 vibes to me. It looks a lot like various specific maps that we saw in that game. The ones that come to mind include... Of course, Shoot House, that's the one the developers talk about this. They kind of designed this map after that, and they said they wanted to make another training facility similar to that. However, the map does look slightly bigger based off of what we are seeing with some closer areas in the middle. But on top of that, it definitely has some vacant vibes as well. But the other one, the one that surprises me, is also Grazna Raid from Modern Warfare 2019 as well. Some people are saying that this reminds them of Modern Warfare 3. To me, it doesn't have many Modern Warfare 2 vibes. Modern Warfare 2 is kind of more bright and vibrant, but as far as this goes, Modern Warfare 3 mixed with Modern Warfare 2019 and those specific maps that we mentioned before. Then we get into the gameplay portion of it. As far as this goes, the first thing we see is some movement with a weapon, throwing a grenade, things along those lines. We see some recoil, a character scanning throughout the map, and just looking around, and then we get one final shot of that recoil once again. So the first part that we have is kind of like that TikTok scene where they kind of have the computer voice talking. As far as this goes, there's not much to go off of. He is throwing a grenade. We get to see a weapon. I think it's the M4, not 100% sure at this point. And just the character kind of moving around, looking around the map. Nothing too special or nothing big to take away from that. However, the next scene that we get where we get to see the recoil pattern, that says a lot more. So when we look at the character firing this weapon, there is a lot of recoil here. The weapon itself is bouncing around 
around a lot. On top of that, the recoil is shooting him all over the place. And this could be caught up with in a couple of different things. First of all, it appears as though the weapon doesn't have very many attachments on it. So no recoil control or anything along those lines. But it could also speak to in and of itself how much weapon recoil there is going to be at the launch of the game. What this tells me is that there's going to be much more recoil than Modern Warfare 2019, adding a little bit further of a skill gap, which in my opinion is a welcome addition. Now, at the time of the release of the game, there's no way with attachments it will have this much recoil. However, the base weapons could very much so in and of themselves, which will very much change up the ground weapon and looting in Warzone 2 as well, if this is what we see at the actual launch of the game. Keep in mind that I have played Modern Warfare 2, I mentioned this to you guys before, and I have to say this is pretty much what I saw when playing the game, as we didn't get to use create a class whatsoever. So to me, everything we're seeing here looks good. Keep in mind, it's not much to go off of. It's not a full multiplayer reveal or anything like that. That's what we'll be getting on the 15th. But the addition of that extra recoil, the movement that we were seeing, the map in and of itself looks really, really good to me. Definite Modern Warfare 2019 vibes just kicked up a notch, which is basically exactly what we want to see. Now, as far as what we have moving forward, we don't have the official reveal of Modern Warfare 2 until September 15th. That is when I will be in LA playing the game early, can bring you early gameplay and everything along those lines. So that is what you can kind of expect out of the actual reveal. Until then, it appears as though this is kind of what we are going to be getting, which is exactly what I guessed in a previous video. Developer interviews where they probably talk about various different maps. We'll probably be getting another one of these next week. There'll probably be snippets of gameplay introduced with each of these, probably giving us a new weapon, maybe a new piece of tactical equipment, and of course, the new map as well. Now, as far as what they will talk about, I don't know if they're going to talk about the individual maps in every single one of these like they did with this one, or whether they're going to be talking about other gameplay mechanics like new gunsmith, new attachment variants, things along those lines, things that we'll be diving into throughout the launch of this game. So, as they happen, I will be keeping you guys updated. The way to stay up to date on that is make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you have notifications on. I'm curious what you think of this small bit of gameplay that we get to see here. It is our first look and first actual release from Infinity Ward of actual gameplay. So let me know what you think down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, it is always appreciated if you hit that like button. And like I said, to stay up to date, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are real.